I can tell you what the Book of Dust is about in one word. It's about dust, of course. Um, but this is my dust, dust with a capital D, the dust that suffuses, infuses the whole of his dark materials. And in this book, we find out more about it. And uh, people have asked me, is it a sequel to his dark materials? Is it a prequel? What is it? And I say, it's not a prequel and it's not a sequel. It's an equal. It's a companion novel, put it like that. It'll stand beside his dark materials and not before it or after it. People who have read his dark materials will know the sort of thing to expect, I hope. There'll be, Lyra will be in it, some other characters that we've met already. But there'll also be some new characters, one very important one, um, whom we haven't seen before. And there's a bit of Lyra's background in it too, uh, which explains her connection with Jordan College and why the alethiometer has been so important in her life. Um, these things were fun to find out for me, and I hope that they'll be interesting to read about for readers. When I wrote the first book, I had no idea that anybody would read it at all, because it wasn't the sort of thing I'd written before. It was new to me, and um, I certainly didn't anticipate that so many people would find Lyra as interesting a character as I did. The thing about Lyra is that she's not a special child. She's not specially gifted or specially um, talented or anything like that. She's a very ordinary child, a very ordinary girl. And I think the reason that people have read, and quite young children too have read, this long and complicated story is because they're with Lyra and she's in the same position as the reader because the reader shares her own sense of danger and excitement and curiosity about what's going to happen next. I hope the same thing will be true of The Book of Dust. People tell me, I didn't realise that myself, but people tell me it's 22 years since Northern Lights was published, um, which surprises me because it seemed like yesterday in a way. But that book the first part of his Dark Materials uh, came out in 95, I think. Um, and the whole thing, the whole trilogy, took me about seven years to write. So it's not surprising that this one's taken a long time as well. I didn't start it straight away because I wanted to do other things. I wrote The Scarecrow and His Servant. I wrote a book about Jesus, a character who's preoccupied me for a long time. And I wrote a version of The Grim Tale. So I've been busy with other things. But for the last few years, I have been concentrating on The Book of Dust. And I'm very glad it's now got to the point where uh, it's about to be published and I can start to talk about it. <laughs>